There are times when I have big emotions and I know pretty much exactly what the source of those emotions are rationally and I know why I shouldn't be feeling that way. Um, and it seems like I have a pretty good grasp on it and yet uh, that knowledge or that uh, you know, the, the consciousness of it, the, the rational part, doesn't do shit. And that sucks, right? <laughs> when you know exactly how you should be thinking or feeling about something, and you're not. And that can even lead to a sort of downward spiral where you're blaming yourself for <laughs> not being able to use that information to make yourself feel better. So, I have been trying a slightly different method <laughs> of getting out of those big feeling moments. So what I do is I imagine that there's these <laughs> different monsters that live inside of me that cause uh, certain kinds of experiences in my body. Um, and then I think of how I can um, calm those monsters or make them go away. And I'll give you three examples. So remember, these monsters are responsible for like uh, ways that you feel, right? They're not responsible for the scenarios or the content. Um, so the first one is it's, it's this monster that uh, He's got like a long torso and then these little tiny arms, like almost like a T-Rex, and then these, these feet that almost go the other way. And he lives inside of my neck and he plants his feet into my stomach and his little tiny arms into the base of my neck and he scrunches, right? And that's that like crazy, like anxious stomach feeling that, I don't know, maybe you get, I get. So the trick to these monsters is you have to figure out how to deal with them. And with that one, the trick is you have to stroke his back. And if you stroke his back, he loosens up and then just slides down your throat into your stomach, back where he came from. And so I kind of imagine, I kind of forget what the thing was that I was you know, the, the, the root cause of it, and I just focus on stroking his back and then wait until he slides down my throat. The second monster is crazy cute. It's like a little tiny puffball, <laughs> and it has these big eyes. It's like adorable cute, and it whispers in my ear, and maybe not even whispers, like sort of says, <laughs> says this stuff in like a, the cutest little high-pitched voice but it tells me that you know, things that are unattainable for me or, or things that I don't really know about are gonna solve all my problems. Like it's the sweetness, you know, it just, it, it tells me how wonderful uh, everything would be if I just did something completely different. Uh, and that's a, that's a little bastard. This one was a little trickier <laughs> to figure out how to deal with. But what I came up with was um, when I notice that that's happening, I imagine that little guy, um, I don't know what gender it is, to be honest, uh, and I take a, like a, uh, a cake cover, like one of those glass cake covers, you know, uh, and I put it over him. And the thing is, is if you put it over him, you see what he really is, and it just becomes this like Tasmanian devil, like horrible, like, you know, thrashing around, like changes color and is like vicious and, and terrible and kind of exposes itself for what it is, which is the potential for lots and lots of damage. And when I do that, I, uh, you know, you sort of realize how dangerous it is and, and you've also trapped it. And, uh, Eventually, it kind of goes away, maybe like a, like a balloon that's losing its air. The third one 
is maybe the toughest, and I don't know if I've really come up with a solution for it yet, but I imagine it almost like a snake, and the snake wraps around my head, and its tail kind of drops down the back of my head and, and punctures into my spine. And what it does is, I don't know if it whispers in my ear or, or whether it's like pumping something into my spine, but it makes me feel like everything that I have done is shit, that the position I'm in in my life is shit, and that I've squandered every opportunity um, to do things. Um, I, know, <laughs> I know that that's not true in its entirety. I have squandered things. But I don't really know what to do with that one. So what do I do? I know it's a little strange, but it does kind of work. And it's another tool in my toolbox when thinking doesn't really work. So how do I deal with my snake? And what kind of monsters do you have? <laughs>